do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button guys if you're new to the channel and if you happen to enjoy this video because I really do appreciate it so I just finished uh, watching uh, Hatman Strikes Back uh, video about Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil's like ticket sales exposed he called it I also saw uh, finished getting getting watching through a uh, sporting icons video that he just uploaded earlier today talking about comparing Deontay Wilder ticket sales versus Dominic Brazil to Anthony Joshua's ticket sales ongoing ticket sales because we still got two weeks before that fight even goes compared to uh you know Deontay Wilder the amount of ticket sales he's selling fighting Andy Ruiz now normally you if you guys know me if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time you guys that know that normally I really don't care about ticket sales when it comes to any other fighter, I've even said it in the past, you know, if I see ticket sales, I'm, I won't bother to make a video about it. Uh, but when it comes to Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, I do care about it. And I will take the time to make a video and I'll tell you exactly why. First of all, because when it comes to, you know, a lot of Deontay Wilder, big fans, fangirls, they always uh, love to talk about the fact that Deontay Wilder, is way more popular than Anthony Joshua in the United States, right? They always, you know, just recently, after Deontay Wilder's knockout victory over Dominic Brazil, you had a bunch of channels telling you guys how Deontay Wilder's popularity has skyrocketed, right? Um, and they even use that, um, his popularity in the U.S., you know, as, as, as a form to, 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 they basically use it as an excuse to, as to why Deontay Wilder should be, should be receiving the exact same amount of money that Anthony Joshua receives when they finally fight, right? If they ever finally fight. They say, well, Anthony Joshua is big in the UK, but here in the United States, he's a small fish in a big pond. Deontay Wilder's the A-side in the US. I've even seen some people say that because uh, Deontay Wilder's popularity is so supposedly big in the US, that he needs to be making more than Deontay Wilder. He needs a high percentage, right? Some boxing fans have actually said that. So because of that, I'm going to talk about this. Now, when it comes to uh, Deontay Wilder's, apparently, his fight with uh, Dominic Brazil, apparently, in the Barclays Center. Now, I've passed the Barclays Center. I, I grew up in around uh, Brooklyn, so <laughs> I've passed the Barclays Center just like I passed Met Stadium. If you guys have ever been to New Jersey, you guys have been to Met Stadium uh, a bunch of times. Now, Mets, uh, now the Barclays Center, uh, I believe, holds 19,000 uh, seats. And apparently, Deontay Wilder uh, sold 13,000. Well, I already forgot the exact um, number, but it, I, all I know is it was a little over 13,000, right? Which means that the tickets didn't sell out. It, it wasn't a packed arena, right? It, the, the arena wasn't packed out. What makes it worse is I've been told that there have been they were giving free tickets away because the tickets were doing so bad. And they didn't want to make, you know, Wilder versus Brazil look bad. Because obviously, um, <laughs> there's cameras that you're going to see in the background, you know, if if, if, uh, if there's empty seats or not. So, they didn't want that to happen. So, they gave away free tickets, apparently. So, and so to basically have the arena, have people come in. Because obviously, if someone is offering you a free ticket, you're going to come. What? Wilder versus Brazil? Free? Okay. You know what I'm saying? If I knew that, I would have gone. I, if I knew that, one of the reasons I didn't go was because I couldn't, I didn't have no, no money right now currently to go to the fight. But if I knew they were giving away free tickets, I probably would have got. The, the problem about that is the t the seats are probably trash. The seats were probably the worst seats in the in the damn Barclays Center. But I probably would have gone and get the free tickets. But whatever. Anyway, what people are saying is this: Deontay Wilder is supposedly this big, massive. Uh, drawing the u.s right he's supposedly and, and mind you deontay wilder has fought in the barclay center several times deontay wilder says it himself um he the, the the new york is like a second home to him right he loves fighting in new york if you guys notice look at his box rec if you guys look at the arenas that he's fought in he's fought in the barclay center on several occasions he even says his second you know they call him the bronze bomber but when he comes to to New York, they call him the Bronze Bomber, the Bronx Bomber, because you know he's talking about the uh, the borough of, of of the Bronx. But uh, he himself claims that New York is like his second home. So you would think that he would have a sold out arena, right? And what people are saying is Anthony Joshua is not even from this country, right? He's not 
an American. He's never even fought in the United States, let alone in New York, right? Deontay Wilder has fought in the Barclays Center, uh, like I said, maybe four or five times. I, I believe this is his fourth or fifth time, several times, okay? Yet, the, yet Anthony Joshua has already sold more tickets than Deontay Wilder because apparently they've sold 17,000 tickets. That's what uh, I heard. I don't know how true that is, but if, it, if that is true, that means that Anthony Joshua has sold 4,000 tickets more than Deontay Wilder has sold when he fought De when he when he fought Dominic Brazil. So how is it that a guy who's not even from the U.S., a guy who's never even a guy that the LDBC claim nobody in the U.S. knows? How is it that a guy that nobody in the U.S. knows is able to outsell Deontay Wilder in his own country, in his second home? Now, obviously, Deontay Wilder does not live in New York. He lives in Alabama. That's his, you know, he, he will always be from Bama. But, like I said, he calls New York his second home because of the fact that he fights here a lot, right? But like I'm saying, that's what people are saying. People are saying that how is it that a guy that supposedly nobody knows outsells Deontay Wilder in his home country in uh, the, his second hometown of New York, right? And what makes it even more more embarrassing, what makes it even more embarrassing is the fact that Deontay, Anthony Joshua tickets are way more expensive. And in my first stream, in my very first stream, I was talking about Anthony Joshua's tickets. And I told my viewers who were there with me, chatting with me, I told them, bro, Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz tickets for Madison Square Garden are very expensive. If you want to get really, really good seats, you have to be, be paying $1,500, $3,000, yes. You want to get front row seats, you want to get even like fourth, third row seats, fifth row seats, you're paying $2,000. And I said even the cheapest seats, the cheapest seats go for, I believe, $150 to $300. Bucks. But even the cheapest seats, but the cheapest seats... They go for 300 bucks. They're all the way in the balcony. They're like, you can't even see them. I was telling my uh, viewers in my live chat that they're so expensive, right? And you know what the crazy part is? Deontay Wilder's tickets for the Barclays Center were nowhere near as expensive. Before this fight happened, I was looking, because I, I like to look on StubHub to see how much the tickets cost. And, and I was looking at Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil tickets. The cheapest ticket, the cheapest ticket was $44. Okay, think about that for a second. The cheapest ticket for Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil was forty-four dollars. The cheapest ticket for Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz is a hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, the the most expensive tickets to get good seats to watch Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil were about five hundred bucks, four hundred bucks. So if you pay four hundred bucks, you get really good seats. Compare that to Anthony Joshua for 500 bucks. You don't get good seats. You get the seats all the way in the back. You got to be paying a thousand. So think about this for a second now, guys. That means that more people are willing to pay more money just to watch Anthony Joshua fight. And less people are willing to get to, to pay less money to watch Deontay Wilder fight. Think about that for a second. You would think that because Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil was way cheaper in terms of like ticket, uh, the amount, the, uh, in terms of like how much it costs to buy a ticket, you would think that okay, they're gonna sell out way more because they're cheaper, right? Of course, Deontay Wilder is gonna sell out and pack out the the, the 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 arena. You know, he's gonna sell out the entire Barclays Center because they're the cheapest tickets. Why wouldn't they want to see a Deontay Wilder, the heavyweight champion, the American heavyweight champion of the world, who? Is knocking people out left and right. Why wouldn't they want to see him, right? Yet he had trouble selling out the. He couldn't sell out the the the, the Barclays Center. He could not sell out the Barclays Center yet. Uh, Anthony Joshua has not sold out Madison Square Garden, but he already sold more tickets than Deontay Wilder sold, right? And he's a foreigner. He's a guy no one knows of, and the tickets are more expensive. You would think that he would be doing terrible, right? You would think that Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz would be doing terrible, right? Because it's like, wait a minute. First of all, no one in the United States knows who he is, supposedly. A, B, he's fighting Andy Ruiz, who no one supposedly knows. C, the tickets are a very expensive. So why the fuck would someone, so why the fuck would New Yorkers pay 
very expensive expensive tickets to watch Anthony Joshua, a guy that no one even knows who he is. Right? Think about that. Use your brain for a second. Why would anyone pay expensive tickets to watch a guy if they that they supposedly don't know, right? So this just basically uh debunks the theory that no one knows Anthony Joshua in the, in New York. Because if no one knew who Anthony Joshua in New York was, he would be doing terrible ticket sales, right? He would be doing terrible ticket sales, right? Right now, you would be hearing uh, the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz sold uh, 1,500 tickets. And, and people will be make, people the LDBC would be making videos about that. Oh, my God. <laughs> this, this dude can't even sell 2,000 tickets. Told you nobody knows who he is. They will be trashing uh, Anthony Joshua right now, right? But you notice they're not making videos talking about Anthony Joshua's ticket sales because they know that he's done better in terms of selling tickets than, De than Deontay Wilder has in his home in his own home country and his second hometown of New York. And that's why it's embarrassing for them, so they don't say anything about that. The reality is Anthony Joshua is known because if he wasn't known in New York or in the United States, nobody would be... Nobody in their right mind would pay expensive tickets just to watch him. But they want to watch him. They probably see him. They're like, oh, shit. They know that he never fights in the U.S. They know that he never fights in the U.S. They're probably There's probably a bunch of New Yorkers and American boxing fans who, of course, know who Anthony Joshua is. And they know that he never, he never fights here. So they're like, okay, I'm just going to buy it just because I want to be there. Because I know he's probably never going to fight here again. I want to experience it. So they're willing to pay these expensive tickets, right? So don't come at me and say that Deont Anthony Joshua doesn't have a fan base in the in the United States. Anyway, guys, love the site. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, man.